These highlights are brought to you by Eastern Propane, your local hometown propane dealer. Call 827-3000 or go to easternpropane.com. After stopping the Cougars' first drive, Jefferson receives the punt. John Kashak picks it up on the bounce at the 15. A nice cutback move here to the left, and he will take off down the sideline. Kashak finally stopped at the Cougar 11-yard line, a return of more than 70 yards. Now it's fourth down at the two. The Cougars force the fumble on this play. Kyle Hayes recovers, and the Kittatinny defense holds. The Falcons get the ball back, but Connor Schwester on this play chases down Dom Macaluso for the sack, and Jefferson would be forced to punt. Now third and nine for the Cougars. Kyle Hayes under pressure, manages to get the ball away, and throws deep to Ryan Carroll, who runs under it. A huge 37-yard gain inside the Falcon 25. The Cougars reach the six-yard line. Richie Joseph appears to be stopped on this play, but he spins away, takes it into the end zone, and Kittatinny jumps out to a 7-0 lead. But the ensuing kickoff comes to Jefferson's Travis Smith at his own three. He finds a seam up the middle. He sidesteps a tackler, and then he takes off a 97-yard kickoff return for Travis Smith. The conversion fails, 7-6 Kittatinny after one quarter. Second quarter, third and six for the Cougars. They execute a nice screen pass to Dave Makachek. He stays in bounds down the sideline, just tripped up at the two-yard line. Two plays later after a loss, Kyle Hayes keeps it himself on a shotgun option, dashing seven yards to pay dirt. The kick fails, 13-6 Cougars on top. On the next possession, the Falcons try to pass the ball to their fullback, but lineman Mike Grace reads it, picks it off, and Grace almost runs it back, forced out at the one-yard line. Two plays later, Kyle Hayes on the quarterback sneak. He's ruled to have crossed the plane, make it 20-6, Kittatinny. The Falcons try to go to the air again. The pass deflected. Kyle Hayes makes a remarkable leaping interception and gives Kittatinny great field position. But this time they can't take advantage. Hayes sacked on a fourth down play by Jonathan Matos and the Falcons hold. But just two plays later, Jefferson gives it right back as Ryan Carroll makes the interception for the Cougars. He fumbles on the run back, but Mike Crisafuli saves it for Kittatinny. Not much time left in the first half now. The Cougars have to throw, and Kyle Hayes goes deep down the sideline. Kevin Ryan makes a great catch at the 11-yard line. And two plays after that, Ryan Carroll lines up in the backfield, takes the pitch, cuts it back inside, 11 yards for the score, 27-6 Kittatinny. Just seconds left in the half, but Jefferson doesn't sit on the ball. Gavin McCarney in at quarterback. He guns it to Udoka Emanuga, who runs it all the way down to the Cougars' nine-yard line. Time for just one more play in the half. The Falcons make it a good one. The pitch to fullback Kevin Murphy, who throws it back to the quarterback, McCarney. Touchdown! At a two-point conversion, the Falcons trail just 27-14 at halftime. And on the first play of the second half, a Kittatinny fumble recovered by Andy Bogwald of Jefferson at the Cougars' 24. The Falcons reach the seven-yard line, but a fourth down play. They throw to the end zone. Kyle Hayes, the diving breakup, and that thwarts Jefferson. Later in the third, Jefferson gets it back. Gavin McCarney throwing deep. He finds Travis Smith down the sideline. That's a gain of 26 yards. Now fourth and three for the Falcons. McCarney does a good job to buy some time in the pocket. And then he will find Travis Smith open over the middle. That's a first down at the Cougars' 20-yard line. Fourth quarter, same drive, another fourth down play. And this time the pass will fall incomplete. Once again, Kittatinny holds. But the Cougars give the ball right back a few plays later. This pass underthrown, and it will be intercepted by Derek Berta for Jefferson. He runs it all the way back to the 21-yard line. Another chance for the Falcons to close the gap, trailing by 13. They get all the way down to the two-yard line, but on fourth and goal, pressure by Chris Spees forces the incomplete pass. Once again, Jefferson turned away. With plenty of time left, the Cougars need a drive. On third and four, Dave Makachek puts his head down and moves the chains. And then it's Richie Joseph finding a big hole over the right side, picking up another first down. Kittatinny able to run out the clock. The Cougars beat Jefferson 27-14 to clinch at least a share of the SCIL title. It feels great. I mean, we're all really excited about it. Uh, every week, you know, we think about it and play hard about it. And... Uh, we're just looking for Newton next week. Oh, it feels amazing. I mean, this has been working for us since we were uh, 
since I can remember. And uh, it was the first time ever, and we just want to take it to ourselves too. So It's great, especially since it's our first one ever at our school. It's amazing. Mike Grace intercepted a screen pass and ran it back to the Jefferson one-yard line, setting up the touchdown that gave Kittatinny a two-score lead. I don't know, I was just playing hard, and uh, I saw that they were setting up a screen, and I uh, dropped back, and he just threw it into my hands. We talk about it all the time, get a feel for those screens, you know, if you get a feel and the guy's leaving you, see if you can float out there. And, you know, he's a baseball player, he's got great hand-eye coordination, and he came through with a big pick. The Cougar defense made several defensive stands deep in their own territory to protect their advantage. Jefferson's got some yards, but they're going to get yards on everybody. I thought the goal line stand early in the game when we kept them out, I thought it just kind of set the tone. Uh, and then that one late in the fourth quarter, you know, they put the ball in there, and, you know, it's anybody's ball game. It was probably about six, seven minutes still on the clock. So, you know, the defense to come through on that fourth down play was just excellent. This team would d definitely gave us problems all game, and we knew we just had to step it up and uh, grind it out, and that's what we did. And after their last defensive stop, the Cougars ran out the remaining time on the clock with a key drive. We knew we had to kill the clock or they were going to score again. It was going to be a close game. And coach told us we had to run out the clock. So uh, our offensive line really picked it up at the end there and just dug it out. We came out of there. We got out of our end. They were squeezing the line of scrimmage, and, and we dug it out, made some nice blocks at the point of attack. And, you know, Richie and, and, and Dave Makachek in there running inside, and then we got Kyle out in the boot. That was an excellent drive there. You know, it didn't have any points, but that 50 yards was big. Kittatinny will try to finish off an undefeated regular season next week when they play rival Newton. That's going to be our goal this week is the SL title by ourselves. You know, obviously, you know, we're going to get to put the banner up. But, you know, when you can say you're the champs by yourself, we control our own destiny. You know, Newton's a scary team, the way that they can throw the ball and run the ball. So, you know, we're going to have to be on top of it.